So you've designed your card. Now you need to export it. This tutorial is going to look at your export options in Component Studio 2. When you're in the designer, you're going to see this export button here. Select it. Here you have a few options. Download current is going to download the card that's currently being displayed. This is useful to see a quick render of the specific card you're working on, but it'd be a bit tedious to have to download all your cards this way. Your next option is similar, but it's download all. This will go through your active design and download all backs and fronts of the cards in that design. Select a location to save it and click save. You'll have to do this for each individual image, front and back of the cards. Now, the third option under the export button is to open the export dialog. Begin by selecting the cards that you want to export. By default, everything is selected, so deselect anything that you do not want exported. Now, click the archive section to enter the details about your archive. You can create a new one or overwrite an existing one. Edit the name. By default, the archive is going to be the design name, the current date, and the current time. Here you see the date and time that the archive will expire. You can find that archive in the archive section of your game. You can also manually create a backup from this screen. When done, you'll get a success notification. And you can go ahead and download it and save it for your own purposes. Note this is a CS2 or Component Studio 2 file type, meaning you'll need to upload it back into Component Studio 2 if you want to open it again. You can store it and archive it on your own drive this way. If you refresh the page, you'll see that saved archive here with its expiration date on the right. So if you want to save this again, be sure to download it before that date and time. Let's go back to the export interface. After the archive section, we have the print and play. Here you can choose if you want to export a print and play PDF. Choose your paper size. Component Studio will automatically fit your components in this design onto the corresponding paper size. So if you use US letter, you can print it from a standard printer. Choose whether you want the cut lines to appear under the images or above the images, or if you want no cut lines at all. Choose your preference here. You can widen the cut line if you want, and you can even choose the cut line's color. Choose if you want the cut lines on the face of the card, or the back, or both. This print and play file will be exported into a PDF file format. Next, let's look at the Tabletop Simulator cache. Note that when we select multiples of these options, they all stay enabled, so you can do all three, the print and play, the Tabletop Simulator, and the Game Crafter, in one export. Choose the type of cache, choose the dimensions, of X and Y for how many cards are going to be on the created image. So in this case, there'll be 10 cards in each row and 7 cards in each column. Tabletop Simulator will then take this file and cut it up along those dimensions and use that to create the deck of cards in the Tabletop Simulator platform. See their platform for more specifics on their process. Lastly, we have the Game Crafter export. You can export directly to the Game Crafter, so you don't need to transfer files manually before ordering cards. In order to do that, you have to grant access and connect your two accounts. To connect your accounts, go ahead and click this link. Log in to the Game Crafter, and once your login loads, you'll be presented with this page requesting to give Component Studio access to your Game Crafter account. Choose Approve. You may be routed back to the Component Studio 2 homepage, so navigate back to your game and into your design. When you open the export panel again, your options may have been defaulted, so you might want to confirm that they're accurate again. Now, when we look at the Game Crafter tab, we can enable it. Choose the designer for the Game Crafter account. Choose whether you want to create a new game or overwrite an existing one, and write the new game's name. Choose Create Game. 
Within the game, you can choose to create a new component or override an existing one. Go ahead and set the name. I'm going to leave this as pack cards, the same as my design name. And I don't want to reproof these after designing them in Component Studio. So I'm going to set the should components be marked as proofed on the Game Crafter box to yes, mark components as proofed. Click Start Export. Wait for the system to run. The larger your game and the more export options you're doing, the longer this will take. The exporting process is run on your browser, so make sure that you don't close or minimize the browser while the exporting process is taking place. Otherwise, the exporting will stop and you'll have to begin from the beginning again. Once it's done, you'll get an info blurb saying there's still running some server-side processes. And after that, you'll get notifications when any of your exports are ready. In this case, my print and play is ready. You can click that link, or we can go back to the design page, and we'll see our archive under archives, and we'll find the rest of the exports under the export tab. Go ahead and click the I button to see any of the exports. Here we have my poker deck on the Game Crafter. Note my files are already proofed. Here we have the print and play file generated. There you see the red cut lines that I put underneath my card images. And here's the archive on Component Studio. You can use the clipboard icon to copy the image URL to your clipboard, or the download icon to download that individual image. But there's a quick overview of your export options on the Game Crafter. Thanks for taking the time to watch the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave them here on the YouTube page, or you can join our Component Studio Facebook group. And if you like, you can join the conversation over at the Game Crafters Discord. But until next time, I'm Andrew Voigt, helping you make the best games you can.